Welcome back to Backcountry Amateur Radio. Today I want to talk a little bit more about the TID Radio wireless programming ex experience. Uh, the programmer itself, the dongle, works well. It does its job like it's supposed to. And I haven't had any issue with that. The issue that I have been experiencing, which you saw towards the end of the last video, was actually uh, that it, the software on the app, the Oddmaster app, was programming an issue or programming a setting that I did not want. And that had to do with frequency hopping and PTTID, which the radio sends an ID signal out after you've released your PTT or your transmit button. And that was causing several issues for me on top of one more. Uh, and it was defaulting to uh, the narrow FM setting, which we don't use in ham radio. We use wide. And that obviously presents its own issue for communicating. So I opened up Chirp. And what you're seeing here is exploring the settings in Chirp and the TDH6 to see what the Oddmaster program had uploaded into the radio. And finally, I discovered the settings I was looking for. I opened up the memory properties or the channel properties and found where I could edit each line. And I changed things over to FM and I changed the frequency hopping or the FHSS, which is here, I disable that. And Disable the busy channel lockout because that's just annoying. If a signal's coming through or too much noise, you won't be able to transmit. And then turn off the PTTID. So all of these things, uh, these three items became kind of my, my quest. Like what's going on? Where's this coming from? So I enabled Chirp, programmed the Radio 3 Chirp, and, and sent those settings back to the radio to make sure all those were off. Now I opened up the Oddmaster app and plugged in the Bluetooth dongle and downloaded that stuff from the radio. As you can see, you've got to go through these settings each time, which is not a big deal, but that's fine. So I read that from the radio, and what I found was, was very interesting. Let's wait for this to read. Read, 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 read. And my settings did change on the channels that I had worked on. And that was, you know, one through seven, one through eight. And so you can see the frequency hopping is off. The encoding is only where necessary. Transmit power is where I want it. The wide low or wide narrow is, is wide. And so I saved this as my normal one because this is now my reference uh, library for these local repeaters that I wanted to save. What you're seeing now is the repeater list. Now this is uploaded into the app from their server based off your region. And I want to make sure the settings looked proper. So the frequency uplink, downlink looked right. The tones looked right. Wide FM, all that, you know, and it's pretty handy to have that built into the app. That is one of the reasons why you need to have connectivity for that to work. Now, the other side of this app, which is the social feature, which you can share through the app to other people, your settings. I'll get to that another time, but I do want to focus on what we've got going on here. So I decided to upload these new or import these repeaters into my existing channel spaces, the ones that I had modified in Chirp, and see if there's any change. So that's like channel zero, channel one. There were a couple of those channels that I didn't edit where I deleted the information. But what I found was as I uploaded uh, this, the Chirp modified software into the radio and then uploaded it into the Oddmaster app, that some of the settings on blank channels reverted to this frequency hopping on and the PTD, PTTID to on and the wide narrow FM to narrow. And you can see this on this one right here. So I went through it, just turn those off, do all that stuff. So as you can imagine, going through and doing this on every channel is a bit tedious and maybe even a little annoying. But on the channels where the information was saved for a repeater on Chirp, 
that information didn't change. But you can see this one, channel 7, is blank. I had to go through and turn off the frequency hopping, the PTT ID, and change the wide narrow over to wide. Otherwise, when I imported information into it, that wouldn't change. So the repeaters you're not going to use, or simplex, you're never going to use PTT ID, or it's going to be rare. And you're not going to use narrow, you're going to use wide FM, and you're not going to use frequency hopping. The frequency hopping feature is actually not necessary, and it's, it's really annoying for me as a ham radio operator. So I think we need to, to see that disabled uh, on the app side rather than enabled every time. So now what you're seeing is, is empty channels with all this stuff enabled that is going to cause a problem for me when I upload, here we go, that repeater into channel 14. So now it's saved. Let's go up to channel 14. And there we go, frequency hopping on, PTT ID on, narrow FM. These are settings that should remain uh, or should be defaulted to the proper settings, you know, wide, wide FM, PTT ID off, frequency hopping off uh, in the repeater feature of this app. Those settings should already be there. So moving forward, I wanted to figure out how I could change what's going on here. I do want to point out that channel 14 was a channel a memory that I had not accessed previously or done anything with on this radio, either from the keypad or from any of the programming software. After taking a minute and thinking about it, I decided to do a manual reset of the radio from the keypad. So I unplugged all dongles and wires and reset the radio, and it reset it to Chinese, which meant I needed to go back and figure that out. I also downloaded the manufacturing or the manufacturer's programming software to my computer, which gives me access to this screen you see here, which is all the settings. And so this, as you can see, is going to be hope hopefully very, very helpful. I went through the settings and changed them all to what I want them to be. That was after I erased all of the saved memories. You can see that in the background, there is no memories or channels saved on this radio now and or on this program. And after I've done all this to the radio or to the settings of this radio, I went back and uploaded that back into the radio. Um, but my, my, my main concerns were making sure this PTT ID was off, wide FM and FHSS, which is the frequency hopping, to off. Then I went through and changed a couple other settings. You know, I don't like Roger Beeps, I don't want a squelch tail, and I don't like the voice talking to me. I I want the light to be the backlight to be minimal. I want to save my battery. And so that's where you do all that. So I saved this uh, as as kind of a master copy. That way I can reference this pretty easily when I open up this software. And I wrote this back to the radio. Then I plugged in the Bluetooth dongle and reconnected to the Oddmaster app and downloaded all of that stuff into my phone. And as you can see, frequency hopping is on. And this is where a freshly reset radio with a freshly reprogrammed radio settings to no frequency hopping, no PTT ID. And you can see here, all of that is on all of these empty channels. Obviously, my frustration is growing with this the this, this software or the app, the soft, the programming software, both Chirp and the computer software from the programmer or from the manufacturer seems to work just fine. The dongle works just fine. The programming cable works just fine. The radio is exceptional, but I keep running into this issue with this Oddmaster app. So I went in and I set, uh, allowed the settings to do the web programming and opened up a web browser and linked up to the app and found my software or found my programming information. And then I hit a refresh and it's brought up the newest one that I had updated with no channels and all the new settings. And here we go. Let's take a look at this. One of the first things you see is frequency hopping and it is on all of those channels that have no frequency programmed into them. This is obviously happening with the Oddmaster app and not anywhere on the radio or in the other programming softwares. 
the app is turning on frequency hopping and PTTID and changing my FM settings from wide to narrow. Now I did this all so you wouldn't think I'm crazy or I'm messing up my settings, but I would like some feedback if you think I'm messing up a setting somewhere. I just feel like I've covered all my bases here on what I can do. Thank you everybody for watching and I hope that you are having a great experience with your Bluetooth programmer, but there will be more. Stay tuned.